uh, uh, the last trip was uh, for UK uh, children. Uh, you were saying that this is also for Sweden and another country. Oh, no, no, uh, no, 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 I was no. only just nodding at our no. colleagues here no. from other countries just to see if it was resonating with them. No, I made no claims about it. <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying that you find differences among different countries. Oh, yeah, yeah. huge. Yeah. Huge in education generally, but I don't know. I, wouldn't uh, I mean, in this playground. Uh, oh yes, yeah. yes, very big. Yeah. Um, so what are the what were the differences? One big difference was the degree to which the teachers did or didn't feel comfortable in putting this, letting the students have more control, and. I think this is that this is a quite an interesting thing that does change. But I'm not naming different countries here, um, but I think it is a very difficult thing for a teacher to do to say I'm not sure what's going to happen next, and I may not even be able to cope with what happens next. That's a very dangerous position for a teacher to be in if the teacher is trained to be always in control and being in control is a very important part of education. And you know, it is an important part of education. I don't think anybody here would say that it's okay to just walk into a classroom and say to the kids, you can do whatever you like. <laughs> so you have to constrain. Um, but constraint is not the same, it's not exactly the same as control. So we had, yes, we had huge differences. And um, we also had the other thing that happened was that there was a very great difference between the ways that people tried to integrate this, this kind of activity into the curriculum. So in the UK we took a very, the easiest route. We said we can't educate, uh, integrate this into the curriculum, it's too difficult. So we have a club after school, which is really we were avoiding the difficult question. But in uh, some other countries that were participating, the, the governmental control over schools was less than we have. We have a very <coughs> tightly controlled system in England. And um, they managed to integrate it much more. So they would have a lesson about some idea, and then the kids would program the idea and so on. So it's a very, it's a very good question. What do you think? In Hong Kong, would you say that teachers, how, how comfortable would teachers be about using technology in this way? That I think it really depends on the school or the teacher themselves, whether they are, uh, have an open mind enough to accept this kind of activity. Uh, probably, I think that, as you said, if you put in a uh, kind of a club or interest group situation, it may, it may be easier for the teacher put in the classroom, uh, then the teacher will say, well, I have a lot of curriculum to catch up, I won't have time to do that. That kind of thing. There's a comment. 